on our past lesson, you have learned everything about mixture. Now you know that mixture is a combination of two or more substances or compound. Well, mixing things are very important to everyone and to our daily needs, like cooking. But on the other hand, there are a lot of mixture around us which specifically needed to be separated in order to properly used and benefited by human. People do separating mixtures in order for them to get the things or substances they need and give it away with the other substance from the mixture. Take a look at these examples. Have you ever seen a rice grains? Take a closer look and you will find other substances. Sometimes there are small stones, seeds, grass, dust, and even insects. And you don't want this to get in your food. That's why you need to find a way to get rid of these unwanted substances and be separated to your rice. On the other situation, in barrio or province, to make sure that the water is clean, people use clean cloth to filter the water. The cloth traps the dirt and sand and other particles and let the water pass through the cloth. By this way, you can put away the unwanted particles from your water. Substances in different mixture are usually separated from one another using a certain process or method. These are the ways of separating components of mixtures. Number 1. Hand picking. This is also called physical manipulation or manual separation. Through this, the components of mixture should be big enough to be seen and picked up by hands. Example, when you have a jar full of coins, you can separate the 25 cents coins, 1 peso coins, and 5 peso coins by the use of hand picking. You can do the same method when you try to do the laundry and separate the white cloths from the colored, or separate the dress from the pants. Number 2. Decantation. This is a technique used in separating less dense substances from the denser one. By this process of decantation, the mixture should be left undisturbed. can be done by simply pouring the less than substance to other container or by scooping using spoon or cups. Example, before cooking rice, you wash it first. You use decantation to separate the rice from the water by simply pouring the water and let the rice stay on the cooking pot. On the similar situation, when boiling a meat, the bubbles and all unwanted things like fats began to float. And I'm sure you don't want to get that in your food. So, you need put the bubbles away on the boiling water by scooping using a spoon. This method also involves decantation. Number 3. Filtration. This is a technique which an insoluble solid is separated from the liquid. By this, it uses a filter like mesh cloth or filter paper to separate solid components from the liquid. 
This process is used if you want your water free from soil particles. You can also use filtration if you want to separate sand from a mixture of sun and water because sand is insoluble or does not dissolve in water. Number 4. Shiving or Sifting Mixtures with big and fine components can be separated by shiving. Shiving involves using strainer or a big screen to separate the big and fine components of the solid mixture. The strainer allows only the fine particles pass through it and prevent the larger ones. Example. Construction workers need fine sand to mix in the cement. But sand contains big and fine particles together with other rocks, twigs, woods, and others. When your mama is baking, she uses shiver or strainer to separate the fine and big particles of the flour or sugar. Number 5. Winnowing. This is a process that separates unwanted particles by throwing the mixture in the air and letting the wind blow the unwanted particles away. Our farmers use this method to remove the chaff and dust particles and get only the rice stays on the winnowing basket. You can also use this method with other similar mixtures. Number 6. Separating mixture by the use of magnets. We know that metals are attracted to magnet, while non-metals are not. Therefore, this is a good way in separating metals to non-metals. Example is the mixture of sand and iron fillings. Here, iron fillings can be attracted to magnet, while sand is not. Therefore, hover a magnet over the surface of the mixture. By that, magnet attracts the iron filling and leaving the sand on the surface. In other big junk shops, they use this method to separate metal junks like nails, iron bars, rusty metals, broken appliances, spoon and fork, and many more to other than metals like junk, cartons, Tupperware, and other plastics. Number 7. Evaporation. This is a technique in separating a soluble solid from a liquid. By the use of heat, the liquid evaporates and separated to soluble solid. This method is used by people who produce salt by evaporating seawater under the sand. Number 8. Distillation. This is a process of separating liquids from a solution. The process of distillation is similar with evaporation, but distillation intends to get the liquid while evaporation is to get the soluble solids. This is based on the difference of the boiling point of the substance in the mixture. In this process, the mixture is heated. The substance with lowest boiling point boils to vapor and condenses to liquid. The vapor is collected as distilled water. 
This distillation is used in producing pure water, distilled water, and ethanol or alcohol. Pure water can be obtained also in salt water by distillation. Did you know that Philippine delicacy Lambanog is also undergone by this method? This is how it's made. Number 9. Chromatography. This is a technique that separates the components of the mixtures based on the ability of each component to be drawn across the surface of another material. Chromatography is good in separating dissolved substances that have different colors such as inks and plant dyes. Chromatography works in separating dyes because some of the colored substances dissolve in liquid better than the others. So, they frame farther up the paper. This method is used in hospitals to detect alcohol and other substance in the bloodstream. It is also used by environmental agencies to detect the level of pollutants in the water supply. You can separate mixture based on the forms of mixture. Now, let's recap the different ways of separating components of mixtures. Number one, hand picking. Number two, decantation. Number three, filtration. Number four, shaving or sifting. Number five, winnowing. Number six, use of magnets. Number seven, evaporation. Number eight, distillation. And number nine, chromatography. Now you know the different ways of separating components of mixture. Check out the next video lesson about the benefits of separating mixtures.
Thank you.